Hey, it's Tony Robbins. Listen, I'm reaching out to you because I have a gift that I'm very excited to give you today. Uh, 20 years ago, I wrote a book called Awaken the Giant Within. And uh, I had great visions for that book. And I, it's all it was was a vision. I wanted to help millions of people to improve their lives physically, mentally, and emotionally, and in their businesses. And I tried to pour it all into one book. And um, today, 20 years later, I'm proud to be able to look back and see that what I envision has come to be. You know, in the season of giving, the best way to kick it off might be to, to give people some tools to make a difference. So I'm just sending to you right now, if you want to, you can download this book. It's my gift to you. Uh, the original Awaken the Giant Within was 544 pages. I was a little out of control because <laughs> I just want to give people everything. So in this little ebook that I'll send to you as a gift is just 100 pages, some of the best core of it. And uh, my goal is to just see if I can trigger you in this season to, to do what's going to really make you feel filled up in the holiday season. That is grow and give. You know, if we're growing mentally, emotionally, physically, we take control of our lives. If we take anything that's bugging us and just face it and solve it, um, our life takes on a whole different energy, and we have so much more to give other people, which is what life's really all about. So that's why I'm sending this book out to you. And I'm also sending it out, and it's kind of a, a paying it forward. Um, if you've been to Unleash the Power Within, you may know a little bit about my story. I won't bore you with the long details, but the cut, the short version of it is when I was 11 years old, I had uh, no money and no food in our family. My father lost his job, and my mom and dad were saying things to one another that you, you know, once you say them, you can never take them back. And um, I'm the oldest of three, and I can remember vividly, um, not worried that I was going to starve. Um, you know, we always found a way to survive, but just worried that our family would stay together. Um, it didn't, unfortunately, long term, but that's what I'd hoped for at that time. And there was a knock on the door, and a man came to the door. I opened the door because my dad wouldn't answer. He was, big, he was busy yelling at my mom. And I opened the door, this big, tall guy with this huge box filled with food and there was a pan on the ground with an uncooked turkey in it and uh, he said could I speak to your father and uh, my father was not real great on taking charity I won't waste the time telling you the whole details but he wouldn't accept it but the man just basically embarrassed him into it. he said don't let your family you know suffer because of your ego this is from somebody who knows you're having a tough time and they want you to, to just be able to thrive to, to have a great Thanksgiving and so my dad took the food and slammed the door and it changed my life. Uh, it changed my life because up until that time, my father has always told me that nobody gives a damn about anybody else. And there's so much evidence in the world, even at Christmas time and you know any holiday season. There's so much uh, to look at in the world where people are heartless. It's easy to think that's how all people are. And um, that day, the greatest gift of that was not the food we had. The greatest gift is it stuck in my head that strangers really do care. And if strangers cared about me and my family, then I decided I would share about, I'd find a way to care for strangers too. And by the time I was 17, I started feeding families. I started with two families, and it's one of the greatest experiences of my whole life. At that point, I'd never experienced anything like the joy I felt when I delivered with no strings attached, you know, just a real true gift. And the first family I ever delivered to had a very similar background to my own. The father had left, and um, they were trying to survive, and there I was at the right place at the right time. Uh, like it was guided. And uh, I realized that the worst day of my life, I thought was the worst day, my father leaving shortly after that Thanksgiving, turned out to be one of the best days. Because if I hadn't had that pain, you know, we often don't want pain, but pain sometimes produces drive. If you don't let it destroy you, it'll drive you. And it drove me to, you know, want to be different and wanting to, to truly be a giver in this life. So I'm reaching out to you because if, you're, if you've been to one of my events, um, and even if you haven't, if you're just seeing this for the first time, this season is about giving. And uh, I can remember vividly when I was struggling many years after that in business and nothing was working and I was just a young kid and I couldn't understand what things weren't working and I was so focused on all the good things I was doing and why isn't I being rewarded? And then I remember I pulled over on the side of the road on this freeway, the 57 freeway, on the way to a place called Pomona, California and it was not a good location in the middle of the night, at almost midnight to be. And I grabbed this journal and I wrote, The Secret to Living is Giving, on a whole page. I still have the journal from when I was 17 years old. And uh, it just, it stuck with me. That's what the season's about. So uh, I, I think it's, all of us have challenges in our life. All of us have things that we've got to deal with. Nobody's without any. But I think the gift in life is when you get outside your own challenge and you find a way to give to somebody else. So uh, I'd like to empower you to do that um, for yourself first. So if your life's great, why not take it to the next level? Maybe this little you know, e-book can be a trigger for that. 
Uh, if your life is not great, then I can promise you some things you can do to change things, but also maybe you can pass it on too. That's really the reason I reached out to you with this little video. So, um, and I gotta tell you, uh, the stories that people have shared with me from this book of, of people that lost 200 pounds, you know, uh, tons of them, 30, 40, 50 pounds, but 200 pounds, 250 pounds, people that, you know, use this book to literally take themselves from where they were financially destitute to incredibly successful, grow their business 130%, 200% or more. Um, stories of people that have put relationships back together through what they learned in this book that were at the brink of divorce or at the brink of, you know, people just ending those relationships. Because it was really the best at that stage of my life of all that I gathered, the best strategies, the best tools, all that. Um, and so I hear stories all the time. Just the other day, um, I saw somebody that I met for the first time uh, almost a year ago at Date With Destiny. Um, and his name is Inhamed. And Inhamed uh, is a gentleman from Spain who early in his childhood was, um, uh, had an experience where he became blind. And if you can only imagine having, it's one thing to be born blind, it'd be pretty horrific, but to, to have that gift taken from you at such a young age, and for him, it, it made him crazy and eventually made him suicidal. And the reason I tell you the story is because he shared with me, I was doing this seminar, and there was a woman there who was suicidal and, and in really tough shape, and her name was Rain. And, uh, so I was starting to do the intervention on Rain, and I thought, you know, it'd be a great contrast. I watched this man in a seminar here that's just on fire for life, and he's blind, and he's participating so fully. And so I went over and asked him some questions, and I got to find out his story, and he shared with me that he was suicidal. And then he found my book in Braille. And he read this book in Braille, and he said it was the lifeblood for him. It inspired him. It lifted his spirit. And he said, most importantly, it gave him tools of what he could do to change his life. And Inamed shared at that point that uh, he's one now, he, changed, he said, I took back control of my mind, I took back control of my emotions, I changed my body, and he said, I became competitive in a sport, and he got into swimming, and he's won nine Olympic medals, Paralympic medals, four gold medals in the Beijing 2008 Paralympic Games, and everybody went crazy, but the most beautiful thing about it was he paid it forward in that moment. You know, he he reached out to this young lady and he pierced her heart and her soul because he'd been in the place she was in and he was beyond that now. He was beyond anything he ever dreamed he'd be in in his life. So I just share with you the story because I believe each one should teach one. I believe that uh, when we learn something, the most powerful thing we can do is share it. And uh, so I wanna share with you this little book and I want you to have the opportunity to, to share it with somebody else too. So like I said, download it right now. Take a few minutes and read it. See what it triggers in you. And while it's downloading, if you want, you can send this gift uh, as a gift from you to anybody else you want. They do it all digitally. Put a little digital bow on it for you and say it's a gift from you. So I hope this uh, holiday season you uh, tap into all of your truest and deepest abilities. I hope you're inspired to give more than ever. I hope you're inspired to grow more than ever so that uh, as you go through this holiday season, you experience all of its joy and you set yourself up for this next year to be the best of your life. So thanks for letting me uh, reach out to you. And uh, I hope I get to be a partner with you in touching somebody else's life as you uh, pay this forward by sharing what you learn and what you know. And I hope I get a chance to meet you at some event sometime soon. Enjoy the season. Give all you got. Live strong and live with passion. God bless. Hey, here's a quick PS. Listen, I love, love, love hearing these stories of how people have changed their life. So if you do me the privilege and the pleasure, and if you would make a quick little video on your phone, just something really simple, and share with me the story of how uh, my book or a live event has changed your life or an audio program, I'd love it. I'm going to pick two people this year and this next 30 days of anybody that submits uh, whose stories really touch me, and I'm going to invite you to date with Destiny. But I love hearing the stories, and I'd love to share them too. So we'll post some of the ones that are out there that are fun or interesting or really touching as well. So if you have an interest, I'd love to hear from you. I'll personally see your video if you send it in. Love to hear the experience of how my work has touched your life and how you used it to grow and or help other people. So thanks a lot. I'll look forward to seeing or hearing your message soon.